Welcome to Move Ahead at Home, a collection of instructional videos created to help learners of all ages deepen their understanding of mathematical concepts. My name is Glenna Tabor. For the past few decades, I've worked with K-12 schools across the United States as an educational consultant. I'm going to show you how to use just a few resources to play math games that are simple and fun. <laughs> Plus, they will help your learners get what they need to succeed. Grab a bag of Legos and get ready to build towers. <laughs> More specifically, get ready to build towers of tin, <laughs> since we want tin to be our very best friend. Towers of 10 is a wonderful game to play with first and second graders as they learn about place value. However, I've known how to make 10s and I've practiced place value for decades and I still love playing Towers of 10. The object of this game is to see who can make the longest tower and determine how many 10s and 1s are in their tower. All of this in just five rolls. For Towers of 10, you'll need two number generators, okay? <laughs> These are called dice by some people, but we mathematicians here at Move Ahead at Home call them number generators because that's what they do. They generate numbers. I put mine in a bag and seal it so the number generators stay in the bag and not go all over the room. You'll also need a bag or container of Legos with the same number of studs or different numbers. It doesn't matter, they just need to be easily stackable. I'd also recommend that you have some type of work mat to display your Lego towers. A piece of cardboard, a sheet of paper works really well for this game, or you can download the Towers of 10 work mat that's on my website. The player who rolls the greatest sum first <laughs> will go first, and then will continue in a clockwise direction. As the first player, I'll roll the number generators. <laughs> I rolled a one and a three. So I will have one, two, three, four Legos in my first stack. Let's see what I roll in my second. Now this would be if I was playing with someone else and you know I recommend competition. It would be the next person's turn. I rolled a three and a two. Now, for those learners who are just starting, that's they can count, finger count, one, two, three, four, five. Or they can say one, two, three, <laughs> four, five in my second roll. This will continue until we have rolled five times. We then take all of our towers and stack them. Sometimes my students like to measure and see whose tower is the tallest and the longest, and then it becomes a measurement lesson. But we want to, remember we're learning about tens, and we want to learn about tens in a concrete way. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's pretend I rolled some more. 10. Let's say I rolled I have 10 and a 1. That means the amount I have all together is 11. Now you could do this on just a sheet of paper because we're racing to 100. We're trying to build a tower to 100. I would have 11, which I knew was 110 and 11, my number is 11. I have 110 and 11, my number is 11. I have 110 and 11, my number is 11. Do you see? We touched it, wrote it, said it. Touched it, said it, wrote it. We are learning this concretely so it's imprinted in our minds. You can use the point sheet in the resources for math games with Legos. And we also have a recording sheet so we can reinforce what you are doing. With, you can use this, you can put this on your tablet, you could put this on an iPad and use it as white paper, or you can print the paper 
from on your printer at home. But we would say that the number in the first stack and the number in the second stack, we had a total of 11, which was what? Do you remember? 110 and 11. My number is 11. Towers of 10 can make your learner into a learner who knows place value tens and ones and will make 10 their very best friend. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw and want more, visit my website, glennatabor.com. There are over 100 games there you can download all for free. <laughs> the games are fun. They teach the concepts your children need to be learning right now. <laughs> if you have any questions or you'd like to see games for other concepts, please let me know in the comments section below. If you like this game, be sure to click the subscribe button so you'll know every time a new game is added. See you next time as we move ahead at home.